South Africa's seventh general election since the advent of multiracial democracy in 1994 is set for Wednesday, 29th of May. The election is taking place under different circumstances from past elections in the history of the country, with some describing the national and provincial elections as a watershed moment for South Africa. TV Sunni's senior political correspondent, Ayodele Zubakon, who is now in Durban, to monitor the election reports. There is a new electoral law in place as South Africans prepare for the 2024 general elections. The new electoral law stipulates that voters will receive three ballot papers instead of two they got in the past elections. These are two national ballots for the regional and compensatory ballots and one provisional ballot paper. The first national ballot has a list of the political parties that are contesting the 200 national assembly seats across the country. The second is the regional ballot in each of the nine provinces. It is for political parties and independent candidates in the nine provinces contesting the other 200 seats in the national assembly. In total, 400 seats are up for grabs in the national assembly poll. The third is the provincial ballot for the provincial legislature from the nine provinces. This means that voters will cast three ballots, two for the National Assembly and one for the provincial legislature, strategic voting. Voters can choose between different parties or a party and an independent candidate at the national level. It will be possible for the people to vote for one party at the national level and for another party or an independent candidate at the provincial level. We believe that the more... At a meeting with international observers, the provincial electoral officer in Durban spoke on measures put in place by the Electoral Commission to ensure a transparent exercise. We believe that the more transparent you are, the more, the, the more unlikely that you can have people challenging the results of the election. And what we emphasize even more is that party agents, as soon as there is a result, they need to take a picture and send it to their headquarters so that they start collating results themselves. The amended electoral system also allows independent candidates to stand at both national and provincial levels for the first time. Uh, there was a need to create a modality for independents to contest, but if independents were to contest on the equal basis as political parties, it would have been almost impossible for independents to get it. A total of 1.6 million voters with special needs are expected to participate in the exercise, while 27 million citizens will vote in the main election on Wednesday. Three dominant factors will decide who they are going to vote for, the economy, unemployment and power situation. From Doba here in South Africa, I am Julius TV News.